The construction has affected hundreds of locals as it meanders through the hills connecting the sub-counties of Kilembe and Rukoki. Houses, coffee plantations and gardens of subsistence crops have not been spared. Actually, the government should put at least something little to compensate those who have lose their thing. Actually, you can see. Mary Kabugo and her children are living hopelessly with no promise of compensation. Kabugo said her husband abandoned the family. Kabugo also claims that the construction company did not alert her in time and she only learned that her house would be affected a day before. Another of those affected is Mze William Baluku. He said his family's coffee plantation was destroyed and they are now being housed by neighbors.